happy Saturday. It's coffee time in my eggnog mug. It's my eggnog coffee in my eggnog mug. I'm also heating up a meal from Keto Meal Program. I will insert a picture of that here-ish. And I'm very Christmassy today. Green shirt, plaid pants, and my mom's shoes. But I'm kind of loving it. Mmm. My coffee's so good. I'm gonna eat and I will talk to you guys in my car. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Whew. You ever make your coffee and like halfway through the cup you're like, I don't want this anymore? That's how that coffee was. It was good. I just don't want it anymore. It was very weird. I'm also just in a really good mood because like I'm off today. <laughs> like, and I am just stoked. As much as I'm loving learning everything, one, I feel like I'm not retaining any of the information. Like I know that I am, but I need to actually, like we're not doing anything. We're learning how to do it. And then like we're being shown. Like I need to learn by actually doing it. So I think like once I get out on the floor and I'm doing it on the daily, I'll remember how to do it. But a lot of this stuff is critical thinking. Like if someone calls in for this, I have to do this, 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 and this, and I have to know why I need to do this, this, and this. You know what I mean? But I am on my way to Bath and Body Works. I'm going to attempt to see how Candle Day will work for me. Their three wicks are $9.50, and Dave said to me yesterday, he's like, well, if you like wanted to get more of those Christmas tree farm ones, you could do that. And I was like, gee, thanks. <laughs> he really likes it, and he knows I really like it. I have a ton of Christmas candles, um, but the ones that like I'm burning are the tree scented ones. I do have balsam and I burned it last night and there's something about it that made my nose like clog up or something. It was really weird. I'm gonna try and take that back just probably next weekend or after Christmas. It is burned, but not, not even halfway down. I just don't care for it. Um, I also don't care for the sugar cook or snickerdoodle cookie air freshener. It's not, it's not great. I'm, I'm going to try and get like one or two more Christmas farms. I have a pralines and cream or pecan praline and cream, which that could be burned whenever. That's just a winter scent. I have two candles coming that I won in one of the giveaways on the Facebook page that I'm in. It's like this thing where it's like a raffle. You send them PayPal money and then they write down everybody's name that sent them PayPal money and they pick a number. Well, I had entered this one. It was, they're, they're called waffles because you can't say raffles on Facebook apparently. And every time you give them money, it's a pour of syrup, get it? And I did three pours and you pick what numbers you want or you could say random. I did a random and two that I picked and one of the ones that I chose got pulled to win. So it's a vanilla bean hand soap two packs of Glade candles, one thing of Yankees melts and like balsam or whatever, and a hot buttered rum Bath and Body Works candle and a hot cocoa and cream, which I already have a hot cocoa and cream. I have like the Sweets Village or whatever they're called version. It's called Ski Lodge. It smells so good. Even Dave was like, this isn't horrible. And he don't like anything. He was very excited about that. But we're gonna go see how busy Bath and Body is. If it's insane in there, I'm not going in. Like, I don't I don't need candles that badly. You know what I mean? Like all these people are like, oh, my store opens at five. I'll be there by 3.30. I'm like, why? It's a $9.50 three-wick candle. I get that they're normally $24.50. But they go on sale for $14.50 a lot. Like, it's worth it to me to pay the extra $5 to not have to deal with stupid people in a line. But that's just me. I would do it online, but I really don't want to pay $6 shipping because that defeats the purpose. Thanks, Branch. I'm going to go, and I'm going to drive, and I'm going to listen to Christmas music. Right now, Harry Belafonte is singing the 12 Days of Christmas. Okay, so I just drove past Bath and Body Works. Yes, yes, past it. I did not go in. I will put in a picture. It is not the best because of the angle I was at, but you'll get a general gist. I'll write where things are. There had to be like 25 to 30 people deep in that line for candles. Candles. I can go without candles. I don't need them that badly. Like that's ridiculous. So 
I ran over to Ross because I entered one of those class action lawsuit things and I got my little coupon. So that'll save me 10 bucks if I find anything that I want. And I'm going to go to Target, I think. But I just, why would you stand in line like that? Especially outside. Like, come on. No. Listen, not for nothing. When you shop like a champ, you shop like a champ. I just went to Target and got $100 worth of stuff for 50 Because I'm awesome sauce like that, yo. I got wrapping paper, boxes, and bows because Dave likes to put bows on stuff. I'm not a big bow person, but he is. Um, I got some stocking stuffers. I got some gifts. I got a Diet Dr. Pepper for myself and also some Diet Dr. Pete soda mix stuff for my soda stream. Well, I got something else for myself, bobby pins and shaving cream. But I got a decent amount of stuff. And the reason I had that was because I had a coupon that came in the mail yesterday for Dave of all people, not me. Um, $20 off of a $100 purchase. And then, because everybody has been signing up for Fetch. There is a link in my community tab. <laughs> I had enough points to get a Target gift card for 20 bucks, 25. I could have done 30, but I was like, if I hold out and somebody else signs up, I can get a $10 instead of an additional five. It made sense in my head. I need to get gas. So I had the $20 off of 100, then I had the $25 gift card, and I had a little over $6 in points that I could apply to a purchase. So I walked out of there spending like $54, and I spent $30 in hygiene stuff because I needed some things, and I got a $10 gift card. So like, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, that was a good deal. Even my sister was like, that's a really good deal. And because I have mom humor, I told my kid, he go, I'm like, what do you want for Christmas? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, if you don't tell me, you're going to get a lump of coal and toothpaste. And he just laughed. Well, I found a bar of soap called a big ass lump of coal. So I got that for him. And then I got him activated coal toothpaste. And my sister and Aaron are like, oh my God, that's the best. I'm like, right, mom humor. Like, that's total mom humor. But I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna start to wrap. I got really cute wrapping paper. I got Buffalo check and then some with red trucks on it. Like, you know, the farm trucks. Um, plus, because the front of my, like where my entry table is, is it's getting ridiculous. Dave's like, can we, uh, can we get this figured out? <laughs> so I gotta wrap. Oh, and I forgot my company, the CEO or whatever, um, gave out an extra four hours of leave to use before the new year and then an extra four hours of leave to use after the new year but by like the end of January and we apply like we oh my god what's the word I'm looking for we're allowed to use it that's not the word I'm looking for um so our trainers were actually like we have to put in for it but we wanted to clear it with you before we say anything do you guys want to take four hours on Christmas Eve and everybody before they got the whole sentence out was like yes so we're gonna be out of work on Christmas Eve by like 11.30. So that's really nice. And then I'm off Christmas day and we have a flex day the day after. So I will, cause we have to work that Saturday. I'll have a half day Christmas Eve work or be off on Christmas day, be off the day after and then work the two next days. But I'm excited, it'll be nice. Not that we're really doing anything for Christmas. It's just me and Dave and then we're going to our friend's house, but I'll be able to make the applesauce during the day and relax at night. And I just can't get over the fact that it's, you know, what, 18 days away? Like, hello, that came out of nowhere. Thanksgiving being that late this year, like, threw everything off. But I'm gonna go home, I'm passing my old job. Bye, Extra Space, see you next year. I have a feeling that the girl that I hired to work as my assistant manager quit. I talked to her when I was emptying out my, my storage unit and uh, she wasn't happy. So I'm like, if you're that happy and it's only been a month, maybe cut your ties. I think she quit. I did message her on Facebook, but we're not friends. So I don't know if she'll see it, but yes. I'm gonna go home and wrap and I will talk to you all later. Okay, tuna, mayonnaise, flavor gods, everything, garlic seasoning, and a little bit of ranch because I accidentally thought it was the garlic one. Crush chips and Diet Dr. Pepper.
I had two pouches of tuna. Oh. 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 Fine, I'll just show the tree. Because it's pretty! And so it begins. Whew, you don't see me in here much because it's a hot mess, but I've been cleaning up the bedroom a little bit. I'm gonna finish doing some laundry. I'm gonna get the gifts that are in here together, um, get some trash together, and sweep up a little bit. And then I ordered Chinese food for dinner, so he's getting chicken with broccoli. I also got chicken with broccoli, but I got mine steamed, and it's under the diet menu, so I'm pretty sure it comes with um, the sauce on the side. So that is what came up when I Googled best Chinese food options. So yeah, but I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later because I have like five videos to edit. Five. Five. Whew. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've made it this far, leave me this emoji.